So why does this letter matter? What is Larry Fink saying? He basically is the steward of pension fund money. Money that needs to be secured, that needs to be paid out over time. And needs to be risk-free in its investment or low risk. So what he does in some way, he says to CEOs, your current way of managing is not good enough. It does not allow me to have confidence and trust your stewardship of your companies and the investments that I'm making into your companies. He thinks that current leadership is too short-term oriented. It is not looking at the long-term. And what does it mean at the long-term business contribution, the long-term business success? In some way, it is the success of a company that is connected with society. If society goes down, so does business. And if people, customers, employees, and other stakeholders in society don't trust business leaders, are not engaged in the way they work, then this is a risky investment. So Larry Fink points a finger and point at this problem that we're currently facing in many large and small business organizations. Why is this relevant in very particular ways? The 2018 Edelman Trust Barometer reports that 64% of respondents agree that CEOs should take the lead on change rather than wait for governments to impose it. So the typical way of looking at the division of labor by saying government is taking care of the problems that are political in nature and business is taking care of making money that then transfers into taxes that government can use to address these problems. Increasingly, that division of labor is being questioned. Businesses want lower taxes, they may not even pay taxes, and government is ineffective to a certain degree. Maybe it is even corrupted by certain business interests so that it can't get the job done for society. And in that sense, Many people now are saying CEOs need to become, in that sense, political. They need to address the bigger issues, the societal issues, not only, but also. So there is an expectation of customers, of citizens, that those leaders in big business organizations should do more and not just report profits, be effective, be efficient. They want them to be ethical, as I said before. In a 2017 communication study, 63% of Americans are hopeful businesses will take the lead to drive social and environmental change moving forward in the absence of government regulation. This is exactly what I'm pointing out. Many people are basically giving up on government and saying business leaders need to step in. So this is a huge opportunity for business leaders, as we talked about before, to think about their contribution, the business's contribution to these larger problems that we're facing. Even more, 78% want companies to address important social justice issues and the vast majority indicated their product purchases increasingly are affected by CSR issues. You might have seen the rise of conscious capitalism, global brands and smaller local brands that address a certain social justice issue. Fair trade, uh, organic um, ingredients, those pop up everywhere in some way and they are a response to this wish of citizens and customers to buy products that are aligned with brands that are politically active in the sense that they're addressing larger environmental and social justice issues. 
a 2016 global survey of individual investors said that more than 70% of investors across generations support investing in companies that have good environmental records, are ethically run, and have a positive social impact. So we have citizens on one end, we have employees on the other, and now we have investors saying we prefer to invest in companies that are ethically run and have positive social impact. And Larry Fink is just one of those. And he's not a rogue investor. And if you think about it, it just makes plain business sense because those companies that are doing something that's aligned with societal values, with social justice, with solving environmental problems, those companies are less risky. People want to buy from them. People want to work for them. People want to support them. Such companies have more engaged employees and more attractive to job prospects, 71% of whom say they want to work for companies committed to corporate environmental responsibility. Think about yourself. What companies would you like to work for? Even if you wouldn't mind, you need to understand that Roughly three quarters want to work for companies that are aligned with their personal values, with social values, with environmental values. And this is why Larry Fink's letter to CEOs is very important. And it is disturbing to CEOs and leaders at this point. Because clearly their focus on just money making, profit maximization, is not aligned with these trends. This is very critical to understand.